Hi, Rajat. How are you? Hi, I am good. Thank you. How are you? Uh, fine. Thank you. So how is like going? How How is your like project going? Yeah, it's all going good. Okay. So uh, today uh, I'll be asking like few questions which 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 need is like a screen share. So do you have laptop with you? Or... Yes, and we have like uh, community access. Yeah, I am having that. Okay, so could you please like share your screen? I'll be uh, sharing a few questions on, on chat. So uh, please share your screen and paste my questions, whichever I am sending in the unnamed, uh, unnamed rule and uh, execute it. Yeah, sure. Just a minute. Let me open the community and then I'll save my screen. Sure. I have just texted you over chat. Oh, okay, no problem. Let me open it. Let me know once you can see my screen. I can see. Yep. Okay. So, so we have like few fruits. Then insert a value, reverse length of the fruit array. Uh, index of guava total number of character in each fruit. Oh, and hello, okay. okay, fine. So let me double click this. Okay, so I will go one by one. So first one was insert a new fruit grape uh, at index two. Okay, you have to insert a um, fruit at uh, position two. So for that we have one function insert. Insert. Okay. So in the insert, what we need to give? We need to give the array. Where is our array? Local bank fruit. It's here and. What value we need to store? We need to store grape. At which position which we need to store? We need to store at the second position. So if we test it, we'll get the result like the grapes are used at that second position. Okay. So this is one. Second, reverse the array. So for reversing the array, we have one more function called reverse. reverse so in this we just need to pass our array so array is in local bank fruit just pass it local bank fruit you will see that all the value got reversed what next we need to find the length of the array for finding the length of the array we have called length function length function so the length function uh, what we need to pass it here we just need to pass the array here local bank root so if you see it will the length will give you the four because since we have the four okay. correct four fruits so it's giving you the length as four Rajat Rajat mm -hmm. one question over here so yeah. what's what's the difference between length length and count so the um, the length, uh, length and the count, uh, these are the functions. So for length function will give you the character count in a string. Suppose what is the character count? Uh, you have like a word written in your string. It will count each character of that word and give you the output. Length or length, what it does, it give you the total number of value in an array excluding the null values. So suppose here I can show you that if there is null value inside this and you want to take up output of this length function, it will give you four because the length function has excluded the null values. And if you go with the count, count. So count what it does, it will give you the um, result of all the uh, strings in the array or um, 
in an array it will count uh, even the null value also so if you see the result became 5 so it means the count is um, count is calculating the null value also super okay what next we need to uh, find the index of verb for finding any index we have the function where content Where content, where content, we what value we need to find? We need to find guava. We can give guava here and add. Okay, this is thing. This need to be in the double quotes. And which array we need to find? Array is our local bank fruits. So you will see that the guava is at fourth position. So it's giving me the four. Okay. Find total number of character in each fruit. So, for finding the total number of character in each fruit, uh, he, it's similar as we discussed earlier the len function which we need to use. And since this is um, means of each fruit, we need to do it. We need to run a loop. So, for running a loop, we have function called for each. Uh, item. Items will be well then fruit and expression. Inside the expression, we need to count the means we need to use the len function len 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 of if we then item. So if you see here, so it became five six. So it will give you the length of each fruits so this okay. is okay and what else we have we need to append hello or with every fruit okay for every fruit we need to append hello okay got it so here also the same for each we need to run we will i will uncommon this one so for appending hello we have say concat function Concat function uh, for uh, hello. So we have text hello. Okay, iPhone you can give. And the second one is what is if you ban item. If you see the result, it will give you hello apple, hello banana, hello. And if we don't want the concat function, we have one more function like we can directly use and operator. For concatting two things. The result will be exactly the same. Either okay. and of the concat function we need to use. Okay. So this is done and sort the array. Okay. For sorting the array, we um we can't do it directly because since it's an array, so we need to convert it to two data subsets. After that, only we can do the sorting. So for sorting, we need to convert it to data subset. So converting uh, to data subset, we have two things: array to page and paging configuration so array to two page will be uh, we need to have the for each function item item will be in local van groups for sorting, we need to, um, it's like uh, directly apple, banana. This is not any field, no. So first we need to make one field on which we can do the sorting. For that, we have to write this for each expression. And then we'll give the field name as fruit. Okay. And it will be if we burn 
item. Okay, so this we, we have declared one fruit. So this is, and then we need to do the sorting. So event paging configuration. Paging configuration event paging info. Start index one batch size. You can take the length of length of fruit. So make it dynamic. So local dry fruit, and then we have sort. So for sort a bank sort info, you can use sort info. The field which field we want to use the sort. Will will be whatever the name which we have given here in the expression. So this will be your field, and then what um, we we either we need to do sorting ascending or descending. If you give false, then it will convert it to descending order, and you will see that this fruit got sorted. Currently, you are getting the data subset also. So let's remove that. The data. And then dot. So it's got sorted mango, guava, banana, and apple. If you give the sorting as true, ascending as true, Then apple will come first, banana, guava, and mango. So this is that sorting we have done. Okay, and then okay. Uh, difference between lin yes, we have discussed this earlier. So find the third highest salary from the list. Okay. So, I have not given a list, just uh, give a list like uh, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 10, 14,000. Oh, oh sorry. no problem. Local value. Local value. One thousand, five thousand, two thousand, six thousand. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, what was exactly the question? Which in third highest salary? Okay. Sir. So this is like a dummy salary which I have given. So we need to find a third highest for that also same thing we need to as what we have done in the sorting now. Same thing we need to convert it to data sets so that we can find uh, do the sorting of that then we can give, get a third index out of that. So similar way we need to do it to data subset. To page. To page. To this is given item fine this is will convert this will convert it to this one field on which we can do the sorting so here will be paging configuration so paging configuration will be a bank paging info one comma link of Local bank cell 
Okay, this is then we need to use sort info. Sort info field will be uh, will be the salary and then will be extending. If you see the salary will be like this, and we to data subset we need to get the data. Then, if you see the output, you got the data. Then we need the cell. So we got the salary out of which we need to get the third index six thousand. So getting the index. We can use property function. Property or index function, anyone you can use. So it gives you the 6000. Yeah, so this is all what you have asked. Yeah. Yeah, Rajat. So, uh, like which version you are working currently in, in your recent projects? Yeah, I'm currently working on the recent version, like 23.3. Uh, 23.2. Okay. okay. So, uh, have you worked on Portal? Yes, yes, I have worked on. Okay. So, do you, do you, can you explain something about Portal, like what is Portal and how how, how you create portal and work on the portal yeah the portal is nothing but we we, uh, we can give access to the end user without logging into the fpn so the user don't have to log in but they can see our workflow they can submit the forms uh, do uh, some manipulation of data and some manipulation of data from the front end only they can submit the form see the data document everything they can do it so for configuring the portal, so we can we can use as it's a simple interface only for sing, a simple interface. We can use Wave API and integration to get the data and so into the interface. And depending upon that, whenever they want to write, do any means uh, write anything in our table by submitting the forms. So we can uh, we can uh, use a start process and directly we can uh, use a, uh, once user submit the uh, in the backend some uh, start uh, start process will run and write the data directly into the tables. So this how we and before means if once everything is done we need to publish the portal. Once we publish, then only the end user will be able to access the all the functionality which we have developed. Okay, so I'm done with my question. So, do you yeah. have any question? Uh, no, nothing as of now. Okay, so I'll give my feedback to HR and uh, they will connect you with uh, the, the uh, like, yeah, sure, sure. Concern, no, yeah, got it. with the concerned feedback. So, yeah, yeah. thank you no. so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you.